A member from New Market, Aurora. To the Minister of uh, Health. Uh, speaker, we want to speak to the public as well. And we want to speak to the public about what the Minister has not done when it comes to the Orange scandal. She was first told about this in November at a committee hearing and promised to get back to members of the Legislature with responses. She didn't do anything. She was again warned on three different occasions in this House in April of 2011. Promised to look into it, she did nothing. On May 4th of 2011, the Minister received a five-page letter from the Ontario Transport Association listing numerous failures on the part of Orange to comply with competitive procurement practices and, I quote, Question. compromised patient care and created serious personnel and cost issues for hospitals. What did she do? Nothing. I asked the Minister Question. this. Please help us understand how you can stand in Member. and do your job. Member. Order. Order. Now, again, I remind, when I say answer or question, you only have a few seconds to finish it. Please get to that point. When I stand, you sit down. Minister. Uh, speaker, um, perhaps the member opposite thinks that the minute he asked a question, question period, I should have gone directly to the police. I don't agree with that. I think there was an important due diligence to follow before we got to that point, and we did that due diligence, Speaker, which took us to where we are today. The people of Ontario, Speaker, want to have confidence in air ambulance service. I can tell you that yesterday, Speaker, 61 patients were transferred uh, uh, using air ambulance. They uh, they travelled over 30,000 kilometres, bringing people to the care they needed. Speaker, the work that uh, that uh, Orange does is so vitally important in our health care system. It's vital that we move quickly to to strengthen oversight at Orange, and that is why we're going to be introducing Answer. legislation, Speaker, that will entrench in law oversight and requirements Thank you. for Orange. Uh, Supplementary. Speaker, had the minister done her job three years ago, two years ago, one year ago, there would be no need for a criminal investigation today. It's a fact that the minister didn't do her job. And unfortunately, it's now up to whistleblowers to provide oversight of our air ambulance service. Here's the latest report that I received just yesterday. The London helicopter was out of service four nights in a row last week because there were no pilots. The Sudbury helicopter was out of service for three of those same nights for the same reason. I have a list of 13 other incidents over the last few weeks. I'll ask a page to take them over to the minister. They deal with incidents such as this. A helicopter sent to the wrong hospital in London, oh. resulting in a lost bed for a pediatric patient wow. due to a three-hour delay on the Question. part of Orange. London helicopter sent to Simcoe helipad that had no lights because the dispatch department didn't know it. I asked the Premier this. Is this the kind of decisive action that you expect you. from your minister, or will you ask her? Minister. Minister. Uh, thank you, Speaker. What I can tell you is that every complaint that is made when it comes to Orange is investigated, Speaker. That is a clear responsibility of Orange. And what I can tell you, Speaker, when we put the new board of directors in Order. place at Orange, we paid special attention to patient safety, Speaker. Uh, uh, Ian Delaney, an impeccable business leader in Ontario internationally, actually, is the chair of Orange. Charles Harnick is on the board. Patricia Lang, the former president of Confederation College. Dr. Barry McClellan, speaker, who's the president and CEO of Sunnybrook Hospital, who is an expert in trauma care, is personally taking responsibility for safety issues at, uh, at Orange. Manish Mehta, uh, 
Speaker, is on the board. Patrice Marin, Patricia Volker. Answer. This is a top-notch board who takes their responsibility extremely seriously, Speaker. And I have every confidence that. Thank you. Question.